And it is the scene that you're looking at of the proposed mosque near Ground Zero. And boy, is this a hot button campaign issue now, folks. Fair and balanced debate coming up right after this. But how else do you describe it? He just doesn't get it, that this is an insensitive move on the part of those Muslims who want to build that mosque in this location that feels like a, a stab in the heart of collectively Americans who um, still have that lingering pain from 9-11. Usually, when Obama says, though let me be clear, he's about to get into some very unclear shit. That's usually when he says, usually he says, but let me be clear, there's no way I would not unsupport the kind of project this isn't. But, you know, that's not what this was. <laughs> well, there's the Daily Show having a little bit of fun last night. Uh, in fact, a number of the president's critic critics are claiming that he's lost some focus when it comes to some of these sensitive issues that are out there right now. Let's bring everybody in and get started with this. Mark Levine is a radio talk show host. He also is a constitutional attorney and a former attorney to the House Judiciary Committee. And Brad Blakeman was the deputy assistant to President George W. Bush. Uh, boy, there, there's a whole lot going on uh, in Washington and at the White House these days. A lot of talk about the message. When you've got John Stewart uh, and also a story coming out from Ariana. Anna Huffington, which echoes what, uh, which foretells, I should say, what's some of what's going to be in her book. Uh, Mark, let me go to you first. When, when you've got these folks who've been very supportive of the president, uh, slamming him primarily over this mosque issue, you got something to deal with. Well, I don't know that they're being unsupportive. I think that they're pointing out that he took a very clear stand on principle, saying that there's an absolute constitutional right to build a mosque or an Islamic cultural center anywhere that there's zone to do it. And that's exactly what the president said. If you can build a church or synagogue there, you can build a mosque there. But he didn't weigh in on the wisdom of it. And I think that was exactly the right thing to do. He put his principle over the polls. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why he didn't put those two comments together. You, you know, he, he could have said, uh, we all know they have the right to do it. And, and in front of that crowd at the White House that evening, he could have then added, you know, but I'm not sure it's the wise thing to do and I'm not going to and I'm not going to go there. He didn't do that, uh, which I thought was sort of but interesting. That's not quite that's not quite what he said, Martha. He didn't say, I'm not sure it's wise. He said, I won't comment, I won't on, the comment on the wisdom. So, right. I, so I, he's I, not I, commenting on that part of it at all. He's not saying it's wise or unwise. Right. All right. So let, let's talk a little bit about, uh, about politics here, Brad. Uh, there, there are reports out that Democrats are feeling blindsided by the president's decision to go this route at all, that Rahm Emanuel, according to a report in the Daily News, has spent the last three days, you know, sort of talking uh, Democrats uh, off the ledge, so to speak, uh, over why the president went into this issue at all as we head toward the midterms. Either this president is a community organizer or he's a president. But he tends to be a community organizer. We all remember the famous scuffle that he involved himself in in Boston between a professor and a cop, which resulted in the beer summit. These items do not rise to presidential attention. He shouldn't have weighed in on it. He put the Democrats in an awful position because now Republicans are fair game to ask every Democrat standing for trial, do you stand with the president on this issue or not? It also reminds people that this is the same president who is treating those responsible for 9-11 as, as not enemy combatants, but mere criminal defendants, and wants them tried in New York, steps from ground zero. This is terrible news for the Democrats and something they have to account for. Well, Harry Reid has weighed in on this. Uh, Mark, I want to get your thoughts on that. He basically said, you know, we all understand that they have the right to build this building. We have freedom of religion in this country. I don't think anybody uh, is, is out there disputing that fact. But he said, you know what, through his spokesman, he said, build it someplace else. Well, I, I would answer Brad by saying he didn't, President Obama did not weigh in on the wisdom of this. And that's on, exactly Mark, what he, he certainly did. did. What he weighed he in on did. was the constitutional right. He said, this says that they have a right to build there. That's exactly he what was the president pandering, should do. You know, it's, it's amazing to Muslims to me. Muslims in the White House. I, 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 I hear right-wing talk show and hosts, and I hear oh, Tea Party on. activists, and they dress up like the founders, and they claim they love the Constitution. But when it comes to actually following the Constitution, recognizing that we have religious freedom in this country, then, you know... They, I guess they so haven't Mark, read the document. Mark, this I hear, is the president Mark, standing up for it. I, I hear what you're saying, and, and I've read a number of uh, you know ed editorials out there that completely agree with you, that believe that this statement by the president was courageous, uh, and, and that he, he went out on a limb and maybe knew that it was going to be politically difficult for him, and he did it anyway. And I understand you giving him uh, credit for that if you agree with that sentiment. The, the issue, One of the issues, though, is that, that I think a lot of people feel left out of the picture when it comes to sensitivity and tolerance, and they want to know why the president isn't speaking out on behalf of the 9-11 families, why he isn't saying why is there no memorial yet, why don't we have a trial yet. He, they're not hearing that side of the story, and I think that's where some of this 
rising up uh, is coming from. Your thoughts on well, that? That point is fair. I, look, I think it's, it's a shame, really, and I, I blame a lot of New York officials, that there is no, still not a memorial. I'm hopeful there will be one 10 years after September 11th. It looks like they're going to try to get that done in time. And, uh, but again, that's something for yeah. New York officials to decide. Right. On. President Obama gonna... doesn't decide on whether or not there's a memorial there. We're going to talk about that with, with George Pataki, uh, the former governor, in just a moment. One quick last thought from you, Brad Blakeman. Chris Christie weighed in on this, the governor of New Jersey. He basically said, this is not a political football. Don't touch it, uh, Republicans. That was his word to them. Your quick thought on that, Brad. No, Democrats have to account for what the president said. Either they stand with this president or they don't. Harry Reid shows to distance himself from the president because the president's wrong. It is fair game. It's fundamental to what Democrats believe. Do they do they side with the terrorists or do they side with Americans? That's the They choice. side with the Constitution. Gentlemen, that makes the difference. We side with the Constitution, them. too. This has nothing to do with the Constitution. It has everything to do with what's right and what's appropriate. All right, gentlemen, Period. thank you very much. Mark Levine, Brad Blakeman, always a pleasure to talk to both of you. We'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. Meanwhile, Sarah Palin.